Well everyone, it's Shane Kanto, your Wasteland reviewer, and I'm here to review Masters of the Universe Revelations, and this is an animated series from Netflix from creator Kevin Smith, and this had been split into two parts, because, you know, Netflix has some reason why they want to keep doing this, which is probably because they want people to like, oh, if we could get double the buzz, let's do first half, second half. I hate it. I hate that model. And if they just released shows on like a weekly basis, they would get the buzz anyway, and they could just do that. But that's a whole other story. But this series, I think, would have benefited from being released at the same time based off of the huge backlash that this series got. And I have no connection to Masters of the Universe before this. This is my first property watching of it. And you can tell that it makes some decisions that would probably upset some people. And But by the end of the full first season, it doesn't seem that bad. And I feel like that cliffhanger that's kind of left at the end of the fifth episode will leave people being like, what the hell? And, you know, Kevin Smith is obviously a fan, and this feels like there's a lot of fan service, there's a lot of big, like, fan moments, and it's a very, like, nerdy, geeky and uh, endeavor here. And you can feel that, because you could tell that he watched the show a lot. And you have a wide focus, you don't just focus on He-Man, you focus on a lot of different characters, like, um, Tila becomes a huge part of this, uh, Evelyn gets a huge part of this Skeletor. You have all of these different characters that wind up getting some pretty big focus on them. And it isn't just like He-Man's story and then supporting characters. You get to understand their motivations and there's a deeper, more, there's a deeper story to each of these characters and their motivations and what's driving them. And it makes it more complex and more interesting that way. And I thought this was a really interesting series. It has cool action. It has cool animation. You get, like, all the crazy action that you'd want out of a Masters of the Universe show. And it does swing wild with its tone because, like, there's parts that are just straight-up campy, silly, and it leans into it. It knows that some of these names are absurd, like, Evelyn. Um, <laughs> like, fist guy or whatever the hell his name is and just like like Skeletor like he's a skeleton and you you know this is silly it is campy but it finds the seriousness in its themes and what it's trying to say to make it more poignant at times and it does subvert things a lot but it also causes a lot of start and go it's like oh my god they did this thing to this character I can't believe it and then it's undone like a couple episodes later and you're just like and that started to bother me like it's like it felt like they were setting up each episode to have a crazy hook that was undone by a later episode so that you could have an even crazier hook later and it's just like okay I get it and it bothered me I can imagine that it might bother some others as well it does have an amazing cast, and you have Chris Wood who plays He-Man, but you have Sarah Michelle Gellar who's great as Tila. Lena Headey and Mark Hamill are the real standouts here as Evelyn and Skeletor. Just listen to like, listening to Mark Hamill and Skeletor is just so great. And you have like Tiffany Smith, Diedrich Bader, Liam Cunningham, Kevin Michael Richardson, uh, <laughs> Henry Rollins. You have such a Stephen Root. Uh, Justin Long, you just have Dennis Haysbert. There's just so many people in this show. And a lot of them, like Lena Headey, Sarah Michelle Gellar, and Mark Hamill get a lot to do in this show. And they're all great. And there's tons of moments that, like, I'm sitting here being like, you know, I've had moments like this watching Star Wars or watching, like, Marvel movies or DCU movies and being like, I would have freaked out if I knew who that person was. <laughs> so, like, I can tell there was moments set up to be like, oh, my God. It didn't hit me as much because, like, I didn't know who they are. Um, but you could feel, like, the setup. 
there's great the music in this is great it's epic it's emotional there's some really effective emotional drama moments and it leaves it open with a really intriguing and crazy hook at the end also probably a big fan moment what i didn't really get it but i'm like i could feel the weight of the scene though in general i had a blast with this show I didn't have the baggage of, like, they're ruining my childhood, because never watched this. But as a 30-year-old, watching this for the first time, I had a blast, so I'd recommend it. But those are my thoughts on Masters of the Universe Revelations. Let me know what you think, and let's talk some TV. But thank you, as always, for tuning in and supporting your Wasteland Reviewer.